Baby, I don't know if y'all can even see me, but I can see you when you're not smiling because you guys tell on you, honey. So before you receive this reading today, give me a smile, darling, even if it's for half a moment. Hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Taurus. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today, honey, we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot horoscope messages for today. We're going to see what's going to be happening, what's going to be going on for you for this week, Taurus. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading today, darling, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards resonate with you and how they do, because that is how I keep up with y'all through the comments, of course. Okay, baby. And also as well, Taurus, if you do enjoy this tarot reading today or you just enjoy, oh, or you just enjoy my vibe, uh, Taurus, I would really appreciate if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help me out a lot. And I always appreciate it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way, Taurus. But remember, don't mind me, I'm sorting out these cards. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you with some apparently unorganized tarot cards. Uh, but uh, these readings are just here to give you some perspective, Taurus, just something for you to think about for today food for thought uh perspective to consider but let's just enough of the babble and honey let's just jump into your monthly monthly weekly reading for today Taurus, let's see what's going on for y'all. So as y'all can already tell based off of my reaction, there's one card in here that's like flipped over, Taurus. There we go, two of swords. This is the one, I guess uh, that's the card meant for you because usually Taurus, I'm very pet peevy about my tarot cards being in proper order. And this card was just very much so insistent on uh, being upside down for some reason. So Taurus, let's get into this, right? I want to get into these cards. So the couple cards that you noticed with my reaction, darling, was the Ten of Wands that came forward to y'all, as well as the Ten of Cups coming in here. So Tens represents closures, Taurus. Tens represents closures. And so right off the bat, I do feel as if there's like this sense of uh, you're, le you're left with a choice of completing a cycle entirely in your life or going off into, you know, still engaging with it, especially with the Two of Swords here. This makes a lot of sense now. So I would even almost say, Taurus, like one side of the path is the Ten of Wands while the other side is the Ten of Cups. Do you choose to, for, do you choose abundance? Do you choose fulfillments, darling? Or do you choose to still take on some type of burden in your life? Because I do feel as if, Taurus, you guys are taking on some level of a burden, right? I mean, you look at the individual, honey, like, and while like she looks like she's like getting caked up and getting all those muscles from lifting everything, right? She's pretty exhausted as well, darling right and so ten of wands is this representation of just dealing with a lot of baggage you know i can't help but feel as if taurus that there's something that's like you just need like a feather and that's gonna break your back right that you know that saying how that saying goes a feather uh breaking the camel's back uh almost and so it does just i want to get into this a little bit more for you taurus i see this sense of where i keep on hearing like the sense of you being fed up with something Maybe not fed up because I feel as if that adds such a negative narrative, but I do feel very strongly in that you guys are stepping into a new journey because I do feel as if for most you Tauruses, you guys are kind of putting something into the past, right? Maybe you've been thinking about this for a while, debating it, and I do feel as if this is the week of where you're going to be receiving a sign or an affirmation for you Taurus to be like, oh yeah, totally, this is what's meant for me. So let's get some clarifier. Girl, I don't know why, Taurus, I cannot shuffle these cards with y'all, right? I've had this deck for so long and I have some big old man hands, darling. And, and, <laughs> and so, like, okay, girl, my God. <laughs> okay, let me just get into these cards, Taurus. I want to pull one more. Okay, Taurus, y'all are going through it right now, I can tell. Five of Wands coming in here with girl <laughs> with the strength card coming in taurus as well as the eight of wands stepping forward as well and so i do feel as if you guys are claiming i keep i just heard like claiming your throne i know that sounds really dramatic and i guess it is taurus right claiming your throne unless like the queen of england honey is actually a taurus which i don't know but um, i do get the sense taurus that you guys have been um 
let's just say I feel as if like you this is what you've been building up for or this is like the experiences that you've been going through is really pushing you into a specific direction towards and I almost feel as if some of you guys have been a little bit resistant uh, towards this just based off of the five of wands and the eight of wands I do feel as in, with the strength card this is literally just like a sense of like struggle towards uh, and just trying to keep your head above water uh, quite literally based off of this five of wands here and so what I would dissect from this, Taurus, I do feel as if this is going to be a week of where you guys do finally uh, come to a closure with the period of struggle in your life. And once you come to the closure with this, I feel as if you guys are going to be uh, grabbing up at something new. I do feel as if you guys are going to be picking up like a new project or picking up a new interest um, of some sort, right? And it's all based off of this Eight of Wands is why I'm saying this, is because the Eight of Wands, I see this as a card of dipping your toes in and multiple things, trying things out, Taurus. And so I do feel as if, very strongly actually, I feel as if that... Um, you know, you kept on dealing with these obstacles, you kept on dealing with all these, you know, these constant bumps on the road. And maybe for some of you guys, you've been kind of resistant or you just aren't sure if this is you um, considering yourself a quitter, perhaps, right? Maybe you've been really trying to persevere with something or go at something for a while just because you don't want to see yourself as a quitter. But I want to come in with this message, Taurus, of where um, sometimes like obstacles are there just to be a brick wall, right? If you're continuously dealing with resistances, well, yes, you can some people will count this for, um, you know, just building some character, myself included as well. Um, many people, I see this really as a sense uh, for you, Taurus, of where um, this is a sign for you to go into a new direction, going into a new path, whatever this looks like for you. I know for some people it could be very dramatic, Taurus, in the sense of, you know, changing jobs entirely. I see that definitely being a potential here with the Eight of Wands because the Eight of Wands is usually dealing with like projects and things that fulfill you. Taurus. Um, for other people, it could just be in a sense of like changing uh, majors is something I just heard as well. It's shifting, just overall shifting where it is that you are putting your energy, right? Because again, we look at this 10 of cups here. This is the family life. This is the things that fulfill you. Uh, and so I do feel as if um, what's fulfilling you now is different from what was fulfilling you from before and so maybe that's why you guys some of you Tauruses may be having some of this resistance in your life of where you're just like oh no this usually always would work for me girl I cannot hold y'all's cards today Taurus my gosh and then we have the page of swords and the five of pentacles coming in here so you guys were aware of this for some time Taurus I would say you guys were aware of this you guys um there is this sense of just feeling like you're not belonging somewhere. So this is in regards to like a uh, social situation, right? It does feel as if like you guys are kind of coming to this point, Taurus, of where you're realizing being like, all right, this cycle with the person is over, right? Um, the cycles with the person is over. You kind of aware about it. And I feel as if you are making the hard choice this week of being like, all right, let me just disconnect from this thing that you personally really wanted to work out. You really wanted there to be some type of happy ever after with this situation. Situation, but um, I feel as if you guys are realizing that the best uh, um, step for you, the next best, uh, what is the word I'm trying to think of? Like the action that you take next is going into something new because Page of Swords, it's a very fitting card with those tens coming in as well because you're stepping into a new energy. Um, I don't feel like this is catching you guys off guard, Taurus. I feel as if this, I feel as if this reading is going to really serve as an affirmation for many of my beautiful Tauruses to be like, all right, this is my sign to continue on with this this you know i feel like you're just looking for um a green light some exterior affirmation of that you know what you're doing personally towards because i do feel like there's a risk here or that is if you feel as if there's like a little bit of a riskiness involved with this um naturally because you guys are going to be going into something new um some of you guys may be struggling with thinking as if internalizing feeling as if you're like the issue as well something that I'm just feeling with this five of uh, pentacles. So I do want to just come in as this message, Taurus, of where um, for those that are internalizing things or feeling as if they're the problem or what have you, right? Whatever that narrative is for you, Taurus, get out of your head, darling. Get out of your head. Let's close off this energy. 
Four of Cups coming in here. Uh, so Taurus, definitely this is a situation, there is a theme here as well. Two of Swords and Four of Cups, there's this defensiveness, right? You even look at the individual, both of their arms are crossed, so they're keeping themselves closed off. And so something I just want to suggest to you, Taurus, is don't be closed off. The Four of Cups also represents this sense of missing an opportunity because as well with the uh, both arms being closed, uh, both of their eyes are closed as well, missing opportunity. And if you look at the Four of Cups in close, Closer, Taurus, this is a card of where uh, you see spirits trying to offer a cup, which cups represent opportunities or emotions or an offer of some type, and you're ignoring it. And so what I want to tell you guys this week, uh, Taurus, is don't ignore the signs of <laughs> where they're trying to guide you, right? Don't ignore the signs that are trying to give you guidance. For example, just because it's here, right? Don't ignore this reading, right? If that if this reading serves as this sign, you know, I feel like some of you Tauruses, you'll receive signs, but then you're just like, mm, maybe that's coincidence or, you know, it's the sense of being like, oh, are you sure, right? <laughs> sort of thing. Uh, Taurus, I feel like this is more so a message for you guys to be like, yes, your guys are sure, darling. Yes, this new journey, this new path that you guys are stepping into, this new focus that you're having in your life, um, it's intended. This is the next portion of your path. It's okay to let go. It's okay to release things that no longer are serving you anymore. And it's okay to close off these cycles. Don't feel as if you're being a quitter or if you're being dramatic or what have you. You know, whatever the narrative fits for you. So now, Taurus, let's get into what good things are in the works for you guys. What is What are y'all currently building this week, right? And keep in mind, Taurus, whenever I say what, you, what good things are in the works, it doesn't mean that you're going to instantly have it this week right it just means that this is where the direction of where you're going right which is always helpful to know um what actions you're taking or like where your actions are taking you right so let's take a look at this Taurus. we have the judgment card coming in here so definitely uh, your life starts shifting through like a big action of some sort through like a big move through like a hard conversation taurus uh i do feel as if there's your life it's like it's like almost like you're waiting to pull the trigger on something but once you pull the trigger on something it's a it's just very impactful like i feel as if like once you like vocalize this or once you start taking action towards this um it just really lets me know just like major shifts in your life of whatever degree let's see here ace of pentacles but this is necessary for you right you guys are definitely going towards your cornucopia and then nine of swords coming in here as well and so overall taurus if you work through your anxiety darling if you work through your anxiety you work you know you make the hard choices which i do see you guys doing anyways um i see you got you know some of you guys you may build up the courage to do it this week or really i guess it comes to the point taurus where you ask yourself like how long do you want to be in this anxious energy right because this shares the same message as like the five of pentacles where like both individuals are crying right quite literally right so um definitely an interesting message there but i do feel as if like a big transition is in is in the cards for you <laughs> pun intended darling a big transition is in the cards for you i'm kind of surprised we're not seeing a tower card coming in here maybe we still will will knock on wood and um, this is not wood darling i'm sorry miss aretha <laughs> uh but i do see like the next phase of like the next chapter of your life the next thing that comes into fruition for you is through a very big transition in your life but it's through this big transition right you st you actually see the chest uh, or like the pot of gold darling that you've been trying to go after right you know instead of banging your head against this brick wall you change things up drastically and you actually get the, the very thing that you've been wanting this entire time it may just not be in the detail um that you envisioned but i just really want to congratulate you tauruses because i just you know regardless of whether you guys are taking action this week or what have you i see you guys uh being very involved in your own process of this transformative uh time in your life which i guess would explain why the tower card hasn't popped up for you guys just because the tower card is the representation of usually some exteriorness causing shaking up your life so let's get some couple more clarifiers three of swords coming in here Taurus, this is so interesting with the two of cups so definitely Taurus, i do feel as if some of you guys are stepping into a new direction someone like ending up like hurting you or disappointing you um again i don't want to just focus in on romance because not everyone's life revolves around romance this could be just in regards to like a partnership right of a job of a friendship of a connection something that you at one point were committed to disappointed you or hurt you right as the three of swords represents it's something that you at one point shared your energy with and so 
Again, I do feel as if this is all associated with the judgment, though, of making a big action in regards to this, right? So if you've been dealing with like some resistance or dealing with you know, maybe your job has cut your hours or something like that. Take take the obstacles, take the inconveniences that you're going to be experiencing. I keep hitting my mic that you are experiencing in your life right now, Taurus, as a sign of redirection. Because I feel like that really is the main theme for you, darling. So very good cards for this, Taurus. Very good cards. Girl, we filling up the Miss Aretha Franklin's mouth with cards today, darling. So now, Taurus, before we close out this weekly reading for you today, darling, let's get into how people are perceiving you at this time. Now, keep in mind, this could be in regards to romance, soulmates, twin flames. It's up to you to put the adjective, right? Uh, workplace, family, darling. Um, how this is going to work is I'm going to talk about the attributes, girl, <laughs> that I see with these cards. And it's up to you to see if this is fitting. It's not meant to resonate with everybody. So if this portion doesn't, it's perfectly okay. We're going to see how people are perceiving you, though, Taurus. Let's see. Girl, I'll just put those back up, honey. Let's see how people are perceiving my Tauruses. Ace of Swords coming in here. The Moon card coming in here. Girl, I don't know why I held that so awkwardly, Taurus. And then the Nine of Pentacles. So, Taurus, I feel as if I'm really focusing in on someone's energy that's somehow involved in like your productivity so what i mean by this taurus is like whether this is in your workplace or whether this is in terms of like i feel like you actively work with this energy like i feel there's definitely this sense taurus of where um you guys just you know i feel like it's related to the two of cups and the three of swords um you guys definitely have shared ideas with each other or shared you know there is this there is this sense of give and take tit for tat here with this moon card here this is something i do get this sense uh taurus well even though you have engaged with this energy you don't really know them all that well um well, you, maybe not certain like personal things, right? Which would make sense. Uh, so let's get some couple more clarifiers. Page of Wands coming in, as well as the Queen of Cups. I do feel as if people are perceiving you in a very high light right now, Taurus. I feel like people are very much so inspired by you, inspired by what it is that you are personally doing at this time. You know, and I do feel as if I can't help but feel as if this connection here is as weird as it's going to sound. I feel like there's like this sense of distancing um, as well, even though that things they're perceiving you well. Um, it does feel as if there's this sense of like moving on as well. But I do see people just they're watching you from afar, Taurus, and really respecting what it is that you're doing. Now, I don't know if this is like based off of the, the judgment moment, right, where you have to make that hard choice and you're afraid of like hurting their feelings or something, perhaps, Taurus, or or what but people are really perceiving you in a very high light right now there's they're understanding like you, what it is that you are doing is for the best for you and especially with this page of wands here this lets me know of a sense of like um they're watching you go into that new journey right so let's close this energy off temperance card here yeah, this is just very much so, this is very much so like a bittersweet energy, uh, Taurus, in the sense that it's bitter in the sense that there's a closure here, but it's sweet in the sense of where it's like seeing this closure, but also in the sense of being like, wow, I've like really grown, Taurus has really grown during this time. It's like someone's watching you come of, like having a coming of age moment, Taurus. You have a lot of people being proud of you right now, even if you don't have anyone vocalizing it, uh, people are very much so admiring you at this time um and i do feel as if because of the moon card they're kind of keeping this inside as well so you wouldn't really perceive it so maybe if you've been waiting for a person taurus right to be like tell you how proud they are of you or to just connect with you um they're probably just feeling it but they don't they're not very good at expressing how it is that they're seeing you at this time um but yeah those are, that's the reading that i have for you for this week taurus hopefully you found some cards that resonated with you in this weekly reading darling if you did let me know in the comments below give, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe darling and then also i do private to personal readings as well tours so if you'd like to book a private to personal reading with me my website's linked to down below simplyvelka.com next to my social media is tiktok twitter instagram all that just being simply velka but uh yeah i'll connect with you sometime in the near future tours also be sure to check out your monthly reading for september as well if you haven't already i love you so much tours bye